After two years of using a composting outhouse, we're finally upgrading to a flush toilet. So our whole family is super pumped for this, as long as everything fits correctly. That was Any close. room to spare there. And we cross our fingers that we did all of the plumbing correctly. Okay, here goes our first flush. Follow along as we build, build, build. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss a moment of the build. By the end of this day, we will have a toilet installed in our bathroom, hooked up to the plumbing. It will be usable. We can flush it. It's going to be amazing. If you guys didn't know, we have been using a composting outhouse for the past two years. And essentially that means we do all of our business in a bucket. It also means that it's outside. And although it's in a covered structure, it's still really cold in the winter. So our whole family is super pumped for this and we're gonna get to work and we're gonna take you guys along for the ride. You gotta get your game face on. I think the first thing we need to do is we need to mark the location of the screw holes on our flange. And since we brought our tile all the way up over the top of these holes we need to drill through the tile so the screws can go through because i don't think screws are going to go through the tile i'm not thinking so either the plan is is to put the flange over the top use just our one of our standard carbide bits to mark where the holes are at and then we can drill through the tile and attach the flange Glue it down, and then we'll be able to attach the wax ring, and put there down the go. toilet, connect the water line. Hopefully, we're ready to that's it. use it. Sounds like it should take about 10 minutes. About 10, maybe 20. Okay. <laughs> down. Three to go. That wasn't so bad. Uh -uh. I was, of course, kind of worried about it. Lots of micro worries in my life. went in okay and now we just have to secure it down to the subfloor and then we'll be ready to dry fit the toilet after we confirm the dry fit works we'll be able to put the wax ring on and permanently install that toilet so like maybe cut it off like right there yeah and i'm definitely overthinking this Should I go get a bucket? No, I don't think so. Just a little bit of water. to secure the flange down but then I think we could I don't know if we want to like dry fit the toilet first that's what I was thinking we would do but bring on and install it for the reels God. we're like real people
think. Let's grab the toilet. Yay! All right, we have our toilet dry fit in place. We know where we need to shim it so it's completely level, so there's no wobbling when you sit on it. Um, we're gonna take it off, put the wax ring in place, put it into its permanent home, and then screw those bolts down. Seeing the upside down part of a toilet too is weird. The upside down part, the bottom. to spare there. We just finished installing the toilet bowl and we're ready to test out the toilet. We're going to turn on the water. Sarah's down turning on the main water line. I'm going to turn on the valve here. We're going to let the bowl fill up, let the tank fill up. We're going to check everywhere for leaks and cross our fingers. No leaks and everything is just put together correctly. <laughs> okay, Sarah just turned on the water. I remembered that I left the hoses open because we wanted the water lines to drain all the way. So gotta run out here, make sure these are all turned off. And then we'll go in and test out filling up the bowl. All right, Sarah is down underneath the toilet. We're gonna fill this up, flush it a couple times, and uh, she's gonna look to see if there's any leaks from down below. tank is all full and I'm just checking to see if I hear any water anywhere. I don't see any water coming anywhere. All right, I'm gonna do a flush. There's water in the bowl. So, okay, here goes our first flush. Any water? Well, I think maybe we did it. The toilet is in. I'm so excited. One thing that people don't know about a composting outhouse is that it actually requires a lot of work and a lot of time to make sure that all the material is composting correctly. So again, 
my hours are freeing up in the weekends. I used to have to spend one hour a month spending, dedicating time to the composting outhouse. I don't need to do that anymore. So that's just fantastic. We are gonna run outside and do a quick little install of um, some last PVC pipes that we need to put onto our septic drain pipe that are for a clean out up there so we can make sure everything's fully covered. So we're gonna go get that done. And I think that might be all we're doing for today. We'll see. That clean out piece looks really big, like it's a four inch, not a... These are four inch. Oh. Oh, cause it fits in the bell. I was like, well, it didn't fit just now. We were gonna do some plumbing, but what are we gonna do instead? We're gonna go to the hardware store. Cause we don't have the right plumbing part. Yeah, we ordered this four inch clean out. It says. Yeah, we actually thought we were prepared. This wasn't a like, oh, we just didn't have it. Yeah. And it doesn't fit over a four inch. It doesn't fit inside of a four inch. It doesn't fit inside the bell end or the straight end. So I'm not sure what the heck. It does if feel the, really thick. If the people at Ace don't see us regularly, they would probably send out like the police to come Search check party. on us. So it's better this way. Yeah. How's everybody doing? I know, a little rainy. <gasps> you taking a bath, Egg McMuffin? Do you want to go on a car ride? Oh. <laughs> We got home with the correct part that we needed and it's raining and it's been raining all day long and we're kind of done today. So we are going to spend the rest of the afternoon here, which actually isn't very much time, cleaning up our workspace and just getting it a little bit more into order so we can really kick some major butt the rest of this week. So that's where we're gonna leave you for today. Hey Ryan. Hey what? What are we doing today? We're putting up ceilings. Whoop whoop. So we didn't tell you yesterday, but our kids are off at camp for four days. So we're trying to be like, build, 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 and get as much done as we can while they're gone. Yesterday kind of felt like a bust because the toilet just took a little longer than normal. Yeah. But today we're ready to kick some butt mm -hmm. and get the ceilings up. We have both of our kids' room ceilings to do. And our goal in the next three days, couple now. days, is to get the ceilings completely up. Yeah. And our our big hope was that we were going to be able to get flooring down. And we were we were just all over the place when we were at Home Depot trying to figure out not only color but also which product. I mean, there's so many different products to use: solid hardwood, engineered hardwood. There's like vinyl, uh, and I'm just all confused. So, I guess if you have any <laughs> yes. any feedback on what you used as a wood flooring uh, in your projects. We'd greatly appreciate the help. And I say, let's let's go get to let's it. Let's go get to work. All right, here we go. We're, so we're pretty good up until like here. Mm, so we, so we do, might want to play. We could do like two boards. If you don't remember from our last episode, we have one joist that is just a little bit farther down and it happens to be the joist that is the triple joist. So that's what we were doing with planing it down and one 
helpful, helpful tip is to just connect the shop vac to those planers. They usually do come with a little bag, but they fill up so fast and we lost ours. So we've been doing that and it is helping so much because those planers create so much mess. We have it planed down as far as we think we need to have it planed down. And we're gonna get to work on putting up the boards, which I actually pre-cut the other day up to this closet area that's right next to me here. So we should get pretty far now. Okay. Don't, don't be a food tease. <laughs> What's my toxic trait? I'm a food tease. I tell my wife, let's get ice cream, and then I, get, I don't want it anymore. I think we should take a quick break. Yeah, our shoulders need it. Have a little refuel and then try to finish up the ceiling. Let's do this. Woo! All right, we just came back from a quick lunch. And now we're getting to the part where we actually have to go around some of these light fixtures and outlets that we have cut in the ceiling. So it's gonna slow down our progress just a little bit. So we're gonna get busy on cutting out these boards, going around some of these complicated cuts, and then we'll hopefully be able to just speed through to the end. Are you still okay? You have enough room over there if it's butted all the way up against? Um, if it's butts up all the way against your That's, thing? Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. good. And so we'll just mark the very center of this. And then this one is two and an eighth off the tongue. That's the four inch. That's what I thought. It's like we needed like a four and a quarter though. We don't have any. I know. <coughs> well, that up somehow. I, I subtracted, I think, oh. instead of added. Great, take two. It's just hitting the box. Can we just cut off the tongue? Like well, that's, right that's what here I was just, That's what I was just thinking. I kind of wonder if we cut this hole back a little bit. Yeah. All right, and take three. I just can't get it. It's like we need another quarter inch to half inch taken off on the circle to get it to be able to go over it. Take four. I'm actually in the tongue over here. Off by like. Take. Take five. <laughs> okay, there we go. Well, I think it took us five tries to get that one board figured out, but it's finally in. We just had to cut off a little bit more than we thought we needed to. And Ryan is cutting the next holes for the next one and it should slide on much easier. And then after that, it's pretty smooth sailing in this room.
It is 5.30 and usually we are out of the build by this time and this room and this ceiling is taking us longer than we anticipated and we've run into a bit of a problem with our framing. The uh, There was a couple of the this triple joist up here has some areas where one of the joists is a little lower and then we had a joist bracket that was hanging down a little too far. So we have some areas where that are interrupting what would be an easier installation process. So Sarah and I just went down, we had to cut down some shims so that we can keep the ceiling height at all the same plane. And that's just taking a bit too long. So. We're gonna try to see if we can get a few more of these boards up before we run out of energy for the evening. And we'll take you guys along. Wish us some energy from behind the screen to keep persevering, because we feel like we need it. <laughs> We both came in here feeling a little bit tired this morning and then we looked in the corner and we had caught a rat so <laughs> the rats are still coming in not as frequently it's got to be from the hole in our bathtub so we're going to get that boarded up tonight and um just a little update there in case any of you were wondering about that now we are back to working on finishing the ceiling in here getting ourselves going we are both feeling really tired, really exhausted, but also just know that that's part of the build and we're pretty used to it these days. So we're gonna get to work and see how far we can get on this and keep the progress going. We are slowly plugging away here at the same spot on this ceiling. So we are going to get some planing done on some of these joists over here and make sure that we're ready for these final shiplap pieces. We're making progress, it's just slow, but I think we should be done with the ceiling in this room. And then we only have, you know, like a million more portions of ceiling to do in the house. But this is our first room, we're learning as we go, and we're gonna get our practice down and it's gonna get easier and easier. So like 320s? Yeah, we're gonna do like 320s. 20, 19, and an 18. And like 320s. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Why'd we even go buy a pack of shims, you know? Number one, done. Safety glasses only work if they're on. If you wear them. Take off inch and a quarter off the groove side.
two and a half inches. All right, we've actually come to the final board in this room. We are ripping it down right now. We'll get it up there. And we have completed one ceiling in one room of our house. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. This is where we're gonna leave you. And if you like this episode, be sure to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. We'll see you on the next one. Adios! <laughs>